everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week, I'll be showing you a very fast technique that you can use to weld two pipes together. So you know when you're sitting on the bus or the metro and you're looking at the guardrails and you notice that one bar is being welded into another. Well, you can do that in 3D Studio Max very quickly and easily using this technique. So I've started off, I've got uh, two splines here. They're separate objects. And, uh, and I want to create a little bit of um, kind of welding metal around the point where they come together. So in order to do that, we'll need to get the shape that is the, the intersection between these two objects. So it's very easy to do. I'm going to select both objects. I'm going to hit Edit, Clone, and make copies of them. Click OK. Then I'm going to hold down Alt and hit Q, and that'll give me my isolation mode. Alt Q for isolation. And what I just need to do is subtract one bar from the other. Doesn't really matter which one too much, although this is going to be easier when you do a subtraction. I'm going to click on the Create Panel, Objects, Compound Objects. And I'm going to use the ordinary Boolean. Uh, you can use Pro Boolean if you wanted. You could probably use Pro Cutter, um, but we're just going to use ordinary Booleans to, um, you know, to help make this easy and, and backwards compatible. The type of operation that I want is a cut operation, and I want to remove the inside. So I want to cut this bar out of this bar. So I'm going to click on Pick Operand B. And I can't select the other one. Looks like I'm going to have to convert it to an editable poly. So I'm going to select my second bar. Edit. Uh, edit mesh should be fine. OK. So I've changed that to edit mesh. I'm going to pick Operand B. And now you can see my cursor changes. Click on that. Perfect. So we've subtracted one bar out of another. And now I have this hole looking good. So I can now convert this back to an editable poly. So I'm going to apply a modifier here, edit poly. I'm going to select my border selection mode and click on that new border that we've made. So we've made a nice hole. And what I can do now is say create shape from selection. So I'm going to create a shape out of that. I'm going to make it linear. I'm going to call it uh, welding and click OK. And now it's trying to make an, a renderable spline out of that. I can just delete my other mesh, because all we need is just that, uh, that new shape. And I'm looking good. I'm just going to select that new shape and, and manipulate it a little bit to look more like, more like the welding between those two points. See, it goes all the way around. And we can do even better than this. Um, that looks like about the thickness that I want. So now you can manipulate this shape however you need to. I'm going to convert it to an editable poly again and uh, collapse it down. And I can relax it a little bit, kind of even out the flow, make it less chunky because, right, this is a very relatively low poly around the circumference of these pipes. Uh, if you're feeling adventurous, you could apply a noise modifier. And we can just give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of noise just to kind of spice things up there and then finally a turbo smooth modifier just like that there we go so we lose it around the edges a little bit but that's okay and there you have it that's the technique for creating a little bit of welding where two pipes come together. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.